Since the dawn of civilization, people have used light not merely to see their way, but also as a primary tool to investigate the world's mysteries and satisfy their curiosity. Long before the invention of cloth, pottery, and metal tools, early people discovered and developed artificial sources of light, and they began to use that light to explore the world around them and improve their technologies. The pursuit of better and brighter sources of light has been a benchmark of civilization since before recorded history. Brookhaven National Laboratory on Long Island is the home of one of the most remarkable sources of light ever created by science. Imagine a light that's so powerful that it lets you see the interior of a rock, the structure of a virus, or the chemical makeup of a bone. This is the National Synchrotron Light Source, or for short, the NSLS. Funded primarily by the U.S. Department of Energy, the NSLS is one of the world's most widely used scientific facilities. It is host to about 2,200 researchers each year from more than 400 institutions. Research conducted at this facility has brought about advances in such fields as biology, physics, chemistry, geology, medicine, and environmental and material science. Synchrotron light is a continuous spectrum of electromagnetic radiation, ranging from infrared to x-rays. The process begins when an electron gun shoots bunches of electrons into one of two huge, donut-shaped tubes called electron storage rings. Guided by powerful magnets as they zip around the rings at nearly the speed of light, the electrons emit energy in the form of synchrotron light. The vacuum ultraviolet ring stores electrons at 800 million volts of energy to produce infrared, visible, and ultraviolet light. The X-ray ring stores electrons at 2.8 billion volts and extends the spectrum into the X-ray region. In comparison, a TV picture tube also has an electron gun, but its voltage is only about 30,000 volts. Infrared and ultraviolet light have longer wavelengths and are often useful in physics, chemistry, and biology. X-rays have shorter wavelengths and more penetrating power which permits scientists to decipher the atomic structure of matter. The synchrotron light is piped to about 65 beam lines where researchers simultaneously use it to probe their samples. Scientists see the atomic structure of materials with the aid of detectors and analyze their data on computers. Numerous industries perform research at the NSLS Corporations such as ExxonMobil and IBM work on their company's latest technologies. For example, the petroleum industry uses the NSLS to develop new catalysts for refining crude oil and making useful byproducts, like plastics. The microelectronics industry investigates layers of materials and tiny structures used in such products as microprocessors for computers. Scientists conduct a variety of research at six infrared beam lines at the NSLS. For example, they study semiconductors and corrosion, examine interplanetary dust particles and Mars meteorites, and probe the chemical makeup of diseased bone and brain tissue. Scientists in the biological and medical sciences form the largest group of researchers at the NSLS. Many of these researchers investigate protein structures that reveal the intricate mechanisms of cell functions and can form the foundation for developing drugs and treatments for disease. For example, in 2003, NSLS researcher Roderick McKinnon of the Rockefeller University won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for determining how one class of proteins helps to generate nerve impulses. The NSLS also has the capability to probe nanostructures, structures as small as a few atoms or a billionth of a meter. Since nanoscale materials have different properties than larger materials, they have the potential to form the basis for new technology. Located adjacent to the NSLS, Brookhaven Center for Functional Nanomaterials, or CFN, provides researchers with state-of-the-art capabilities to probe the unique properties of nanoparticles. Together, the NSLS and CFN help scientists make revolutionary discoveries, 
from more efficient energy generation and data storage to improved methods for diagnosing and treating disease. The NSLS has continually updated its technology and expanded its scientific capabilities since its first operations in 1982. As the boundaries of scientific discovery have been expanded, however, many researchers are looking for capabilities beyond those that can be provided by the NSLS or any other synchrotron in the world. As a result, Brookhaven is building a replacement for the present facility, called NSLS-2. NSLS-2 will produce X-rays up to 10,000 times brighter than those generated by the current NSLS. Its superior capabilities will lead to significant advances in condensed matter and materials physics, chemistry, and biology. These plans are part of a continuous search for better and brighter sources of light, the search that began at the dawn of civilization, to explore the world, to improve technologies, to make us safer, and to bring about a brighter future.